Hey everyone, Salesforce Shorts here. And in this video, we will be creating a flow to automatically send an email whenever a case is closed. We want to send this email to the contact person of the case. So let's start by creating the flow. And it'll be a record triggered flow. You're on the K. Oh, gonna be on the case object. Never record is updated to closed. So here we will have the condition of a straight this equals closed. Okay. I'm gonna switch this to free form at the moment this. And these cells was updated is a bit weird with auto layout. Um, all right, so whenever status is updated to close, then we want to. Okay, first, yeah, we want to send an email, but we also want to get the ID. So I'm just going to do a quick way of getting the ID for now. So let's search for send email. And a email okay and i'm not going to do a body and the subject because we already set up a test template so this is just a very short quick email is to send out just for this example a personalization can be done with this where we can include the case id for instance um all right, we want the recipient ID. So this will be something that we will be getting from the record. So case record, then we want to take uh, the contact ID. Okay, so this is the contact that we have, and then we want a contact ID. A. That'll be recipient ID. Then we want the email template ID. So this we will be getting from our test template. So because we in here, we can see here's our ID. So we can just use this ID. It is another better way to do this by doing a get record where you can get the email template and then get where the developer name is equal to this name it's because this is your developer name if we're going here we can see that this is our template name so if you create this then your template name or your developer name will be without spaces or with a underscore that is another way how you can do it i'm just going to paste in id like this for now Okay, and then basically we're just going to send here whenever that happens. So, I'm going to save this. Okay, it's close. Email. Okay, let's save that. And then let's activate it. So, if I now were to close this, You see our nice celebration here still. And then we can also see that the case has been closed. Let me go over to my emails. Here we can see, boom, just a time now. Case closed. And here we get our nice email that we have set up. So that's it. And that's how you can create an email with a flow for every time a case gets closed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure to subscribe it and watch some of the other videos. Have a good one.